Star Wars Episode I The Phantom Menace is a 1999 American epic space opera film written and directed by George Lucas. It is the fourth film in the Star Wars film saga, the first film of the prequel trilogy, and the first chronological chapter of the Skywalker saga. Upon its release, The Phantom Menace received mixed reviews, but was a box office success and broke numerous box office records during its debut. In today's video, let's take a look back at the cast of the movie and see how they look like now after 23 years. Enjoy! Liam Neeson took on the role of Qui-Gon Jinn, a Jedi Master who discovers Anakin and under the belief that he is destined to bring balance to the Force as the prophesied Chosen One. The now 70-year-old was placed 7th on the Irish Times list of Ireland's 50 greatest film actors. Obi-Wan Kenobi, Qui-Gon's 25-year-old Jedi Padawan, was one of the roles that helped Ewan McGregor achieve international fame. The actor, now 51, was ranked number 36 on Empire Magazine's The Top 100 Movie Stars of All Time list. Jake Lloyd gained worldwide fame when he was chosen by George Lucas to play the young Anakin Skywalker in Star Wars Episode I, The Phantom Menace. Lloyd has retired from acting since 2001, is now 33 years old, and has officially been diagnosed with paranoid schizophrenia. Scottish actor, author, and martial artist Ray Park is best known for physically portraying Darth Maul in The Phantom Menace and Solo A Star Wars Story. The now 47-year-old actor is also recognized for his appearances in the X-Men and G.I. Joe series. American actor Samuel L. Jackson won widespread recognition as the Jedi Mace Windu in the Star Wars prequel trilogy. The films in which he has appeared have collectively grossed over $27 billion worldwide, making the now 73-year-old the highest grossing actor of all time. Scottish actor and director of stage and screen, Ian McDiarmid, is best known for portraying the villain Emperor Palpatine in the Star Wars film series, including The Phantom Menace. Born on August 11, 1944, the great actor is 77 years old now. American actor, comedian, and musician Ahmed Best is known for providing motion capture and the voice of the character of Jar Jar Binks in the Star Wars franchise. As of this video, Best is 48 years old. Anthony Daniels is an English actor and mime artist, 
best known for playing C-3PO in 10 Star Wars films. The now 76-year-old actor is currently an adjunct professor at Carnegie Mellon University's Entertainment Technology Center. The character R2-D2, an astromech droid from Naboo, was portrayed by English actor and musician Kenny Baker. Baker died on August 13, 2016, 11 days shy of his 82nd birthday following an illness. Pernilla August is best known internationally for portraying Shmi Skywalker in Star Wars Episode 1, The Phantom Menace, and Star Wars Episode 2, Attack of the Clones. The now 64-year-old actress was honored with the Royal Swedish Medal Literus et Artibus for her artistic work. American actor, filmmaker, and puppeteer Frank Oz is known for the role of Yoda in the Star Wars series, having puppeteered and provided the voice for the character in several films and television series. As of this video, he is 78 years old. Ghanarian-born British actor Hugh Quarshi starred as Captain Quarsh Panaka, Queen Amidala's chief of security. He is now 67 years old. English actor Silas Carson was mostly known for playing Jedi Master Ki Adimundi and Viceroy Newt Gunray in all three of the Star Wars prequels. He is now 57 years old. At 14 years old, Kiera Knightley landed the role of Sabe, Padme Amidala's handmaiden and decoy in The Phantom Menace. The now 37-year-old actress was appointed Officer of the Order of the British Empire OBE, for her services to drama and charity. Israeli-born American actress Natalie Portman gained international recognition for starring as Padme Amidala in Star Wars Episode I, The Phantom Menace. She is now 41 years old and is among the world's highest paid actresses. That was all for today and we hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a comment below if you have any recommendation for our channel and don't forget to hit like and subscribe to support us. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon.